working from home tips uh, from me. Uh, for whatever they're worth, this is my two cents. Number one is have a routine. Um, I had a routine for months where I get up very early at 4.45 and by five o'clock I start my workout. You don't have to do this to be successful, of course, but this is what I like to do. I work out for 20 minutes and then I meditate and I journal. And then I do a little bit of work downstairs uh, as the sun comes up. Then I come up and I shower and then I carry on with my work downstairs, which is what I normally would do the work before going into the office. When the time comes for me to go into the office or when I would normally go into the office, then I come up here, which is where I set up this office. And uh, I dress as if I was going out and I play the music that I normally play in my earphones when I work and so on and so forth. <clears throat> because I try to resemble a normal life as much as possible, which I think is so important. Uh, we don't want to contaminate, for lack of a better word, our home environment with work thoughts. And we don't want to have our work thoughts, our workflow, the ability to gain flow, contaminated by the fact that we're at home. <clears throat> Uh, which leads me to the second point, which is to set up as professionally as you possibly can. Uh, it's very tempting to grab the laptop and work from the sofa all day. <clears throat> but that can have not only physical repercussions because of posture, but also psychological repercussions because we're working in the wrong environment. And we can't really get into flow and then uh, we go to bed feeling that we haven't done as much as we could at that day and we don't sleep as well. It's a vicious cycle that we really don't want to get into. So a cheap desk, a cheap monitor, uh, it's already you, you know all that is needed with a keyboard and a mouse. Anything that resembles the office environment, I think, is uh, super important. I keep it minimalistic, but I think it's very important. Light. I mean, we're very lucky these days with a beautiful sunlight. But if you don't get light, get some uh, lights that resemble um, UV in your room. You need that. It's important that you get it. And uh, the third tip is uh, nutrition. Um, I think it's important that we don't fall into the trap of eating junk just because we're at home. Uh, but equally, we need to make the point of cooking, I think, for me, it's so important. I actually stepped my supplement uh, game up a bit, making sure that I've got vitamin D, making sure that I've got enough vitamin C, and making sure that I get a lot of grains, whether it's the smoothies in the morning, homemade smoothies with can and spinach and so on. It's so important that we look after our body <clears throat> in these moments of change. Uh, another very, very important uh, habit, which I try to do at the office, but I feel is more important here because at the office, you are forced to get up for meetings, you are forced to get up because of whatever. But as at home, it's, uh, it can happen easily that we sit for hours on hand and, uh, and we never really get up. So I have a recurring uh, item on my to-do list. <clears throat> I use any.do, which is a great uh, task management software and it flashes up uh, my recurring item, which in this case is 60-10. And 60-10 is basically 60 minutes of work and 10 minutes of break. It seems like a big investment, uh, 10 minutes every hour, but actually it isn't. It's a very wise investment because it keeps the productivity level very, very high when I do work. It allows me to make sure that I get good circulation uh, and it allows me to make sure that I change environment and uh, kind of refresh. Super important. Uh, the last tip that I have, which I feel is vital, is working times. I have a very specific schedule. I work, like I said, between five and six, I do my things, you know, whether it's working out, meditation, and journaling, all three, in fact. And I work them between six and 12. Then I don't work between 12 and two, and then I work between two and five, 13 months. Very important. And what happened to me, uh, which uh, I'm sure will happen to you if you stick to this, is that going to work and going home kind of feeling. Although I'm here, uh, it feels like I'm finishing, I'm packing up, I'm, I'm going home. And then in the morning I go to work. When I go home, I make sure that uh, I pack up all my stuff just like I would when I go um, home from the office. And uh, I feel this has kept me very productive, very sane, very happy. Uh, to the point where when COVID-19 ends, I think I'll be doing a lot more uh, working from home. Um, it's uh, amazing what we can take when we're forced to make some changes. And uh, these are the tips that work very well for me. I hope that they work for you. But let me know if you have additional tips. I'll be very, very curious to hear them. Good luck with everything. I really hope you are living through this time uh, as well as uh, you possibly can. And uh, I look forward to seeing you perhaps in person sometime. Take care.